Hello, welcome, Gloria. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Mm, I'm fine. Good evening. How was your weekend? It was a little busy. Really? Why? What did you do? Because I had some homework and... Oh, what kind of homeworks do you have? For example, I had to draw some plans. Oh. Well, I study architecture. Okay. So... I had to draw plants and I had to do a, res a research. Okay. So it sounds like you had a very busy, busy weekend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. At least you weren't bored. Sorry, what? At least you weren't bored. At least you weren't. Por lo menos no estaba aburrida. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. You had a lot of stuff to do. Okay, good job. Thank you, Gloria. Hello, Daisy. Welcome, Daisy. Hello, Miguel. Welcome, Miguel. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good it's evening. Raining now. It's raining. Nice. Nice. All right. Welcome back, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. I hope everybody had an awesome weekend. For today's class, what I would like for us to do is review a little bit regarding to section number 3.10 negative and tag questions for giving opinions. Listen, please. Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's go over negative and tag questions for giving opinion. And everybody negative here? Negative and tag questions for giving opinions. Use negative questions and or tag everybody questions here? Yes, teacher. Opinion and okay. invite someone to react. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tag questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Negative and tag questions for giving opinions. A tag question is a question added at the end of the sentence. Tag questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office isn't next to the bank, is it? The verb in the tag question is negative if the first verb in the sentence is affirmative, and affirmative if the first verb is negative. Tag questions have falling intonation when the speaker expects the listeners to agree. They have rising intonation when the speaker wants to express uncertainty. Negative questions are also used to seek agreement with an opinion. Read the following vowels. Agree or disagree with these opinions. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Read the following vowels. Let agree me or have disagree with one these volunteer. opinions. One volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Anybody? Somebody? Volunteer? 
Volunteer. One volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Okay. I would like for you to give me your opinion about this exercise right here. Millions of people are addicted to the internet these days. It's kind of strange, isn't it? What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? What is your opinion? I agree, teacher. Okay, okay. Can you tell me why you agree? Because most people uh, not <clears throat> cannot live uh, without the internet. Um, but, uh, because um, they use for work or or very uh, or to they use uh, for entertainment. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Miguel. Somebody else. I agree, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Gloria. Can you tell me why you agree? Because uh, too much people is get obsessed with social media, uh, videos, uh, trends. That's correct. And also video games. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Gloria. Anybody else? Somebody else? Who wants to participate? I'm a green teacher. Okay, tell me why do you agree, Elizabeth? Because the people get many information and um and they, they learn news knows and it, the very communication and other work that's right that is correct okay good job guys thank you uh, let's look at the next one. Wouldn't it be great if they could eliminate all spam from email? Wouldn't it be great if they could eliminate all spam from email. What is your opinion? Who wants to give me your opinion? One volunteer. I want to listen from the people that have not participated. Quiero escuchar de los que no han participado. Elisa, Damari, Sandra, Sergio, eh, Erika, Daisy, Saúl, Carlos, Cristina, Ana, Elmer. What is your opinion? Nobody. Okay, let's watch the video one more time. Let's watch the video one more time.
Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's go over negative and tough questions for giving opinion. Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. Use negative questions or tough questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tough questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. A tough question is a question added at the end of the sentence. Tough questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office isn't next to the bank, is it? The verb in the tough question is negative if the first verb in the sentence is affirmative. An affirmative if the first verb is negative. Ta questions have falling intonation when the speaker expects the listeners to agree. They have rising intonation when the speaker wants to express uncertainty. Negative questions are also used to seek agreement with an opinion. Read the following vowels. Agree or disagree with these opinions. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this one right here. Let's look at this one over here. Read the following vowels. Agree or disagree with these opinions. Okay. Don't you find it almost impossible to avoid pop-up ads? Who can tell me if they agree or disagree? Anybody? I agree, teacher. Okay. Uh, can you tell me why you agree? Because um, there are many pop-up ads. And what do you do whenever you see a lot of pop-up ads? How does that make you feel? Anxious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too much, right? And there are so many websites that have so many pop-up ads, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, guys, we're going to work in pairs, and you are going to practice this conversation. You are going to practice this conversation expressing the your opinions. If you agree or disagree. I shared them on the WhatsApp. Any questions? Okay. In pairs, express if you agree or disagree and why. Let's go. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, good evening. Good evening, beautiful. Good evening. Girl. Hi, how was your weekend? It was fine, a little busy. <laughs> and you're? Okay. The same, very busy. 
um, the conversation, the practice is the The teacher shared some opinions in WhatsApp. This. This question or another? Yes. 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 Difficult. Okay, we should start with um, which um, second one. It wouldn't it be great if they could eliminate all spam from email? Okay. Do you agree? Hi, good evening, Christina. Good evening, Gamaris. Good evening, mister. And um, in, in my opinion, the number first, Many million of people are addicted at the internet this day. It's kind of strange, isn't it? For me, is I uh, I agree because many people. Uh, Um, yes. Um, what about uh, the next opinion? Uh, don't you think a lot of people are being confused by misinformation on the internet? For example, Mm -hmm. And the other question is, shouldn't the government limit the type of website allowed in the internet? Mm. 
for me is I agree because uh, in the internet how many have too much information but is bad and good is necessary limit the bad information is my opinion um, yes i agree too uh, because um there are some websites that are inappropriate for people of all ages for example children have access to to these websites that's that's right What about you, Damaris? No, Damaris, no. <laughs> In my case, uh, but, mm. and no sé cómo decir, pero creo que muchos niños están siendo confundidos por la mala información que circula en las redes. Yes, it, it's that's right. Uh, it's necessary the government limit the website. Uh, they 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 do uh, the new la lies the limit the website. Mm -hmm. Other, other question is, would it be great if they could eliminate all spam from email? Hmm. I I agree in this in this question because um, the the span um broke the the information and computer. But it's difficult because the hackers are very intelligent and they they are um, how um, to cheat people and or to to get their information yes. <clears throat> but there are too many websites that would be uh would be for help people. Yes, I think um, the government create a law or laws. Those yeah. news that may have virus. <laughs> Okay, um, Cristina? Yes, I agree. In addition, uh, this spam takes a lot of space in our cell phones, I guess. Yes. 
uh, in my case, I agree, but it's difficult because the the hacker have uh, uh, the last technology. And the last is oh. all right. Let me have Miguel and Daisy. Miguel and Daisy, give me your opinion about the one that says, shouldn't the government limit the types of websites allowed in the internet? What is your opinion? Miguel and Daisy. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, uh, did you practice the conversation right now? Okay, that's okay. Uh, Elmer, I know you were practicing, and I know Gloria was practicing. So, Elmer and Gloria, can you give me your opinion? Elmer, girl, first, and then Gloria. You select the topic. Okay, teacher. Uh, um, I select uh, should the government limit that take web of website allow on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree because in the internet um, have more information, but have. Bad information and good information. Uh -huh. It's necessary the government limit the website. Only that teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elmer. Uh, Gloria, go ahead. Give me your opinion. You select the topic. Okay. I, I think that I agree that the government should limit the types of websites because some websites were created to cheat people to steal their data. Or their money. But, yes. But there are websites that for example, you can get some information when you are doing a research, for example, or to learn something new. Mm -hmm. That's right. For example, learning English. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are here now. Uh, yeah, that's real good. Thank you, Gloria. Uh, let me have, uh, who else was participating? Anybody else was participating? Elizabeth. Mm. Uh, tell me your opinion, select the topic. <laughs> Let me okay. <clears throat> wouldn't wouldn't be great if they could eliminate all spam from the mail. I consider I am a green. Uh, I consider that is very important eliminate all spam because. Every people receive 
uh, emails daily and and all the emails there is or there are spams the spams very dangerous are very dangerous because uh, lost information lost programs the, in the computer lost files and capture your information about your contacts and right. set all the red the network for mm -hmm. <laughs> and because that's all okay very good very good excellent all right guys now what i would like for us to do is we're going to look at some questions um to continue the conversation practice okay repeat what's the best thing that happened to you this month <laughs> What is something you're tired of? What is something that recently moved you? If you could teach one subject in school, what would it be? What's your favorite beverage? What's your favorite cake? What's your favorite movie? What is something you can't do? Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Ask me the question. Ask me one. Okay, go ahead, Saul. Ask I me. To ask you. Ask me. Okay, let me see. Okay, the question number two. What is something you're tired of? Uh, what is something I'm tired of? Oh, that's a good question. What is something I am tired of? Ah, oh, I'm tired of paying bills. <laughs> I wish internet were free, rent were free, food were free, <laughs> didn't have to pay taxes. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of paying bills. <laughs> Thank you, Saul, for the question. Another participant, Christina, ask me another question. Okay, uh, number seven, what, what is something you can't do? What is something I can't do? Well, I, I admit, I think that my, my, I don't have a, a talent for cooking. It's not my strong talent. I really can't cook. <laughs> I can do a lot of things, but cooking is not one of my talents. Yeah. Thank you, Christina. Another question. Me, teacher. Yeah. Carlos. Go ahead, Carlos. Um, number six. Number six. What is your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? Well, I don't have like one specific favorite movie. However, I do enjoy, uh, for example, I like to watch uh, crime uh, type of investigation, like detective work uh, type of shows. You know what I'm talking about? Like 
for example, CSI, CSI Miami. Mm -hmm. yeah, serious, like, serious. Series, uh huh. Or I like cool. anime, yeah. like anime. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh huh. Like about samurais, ninjas. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I would like for you to work in pairs and ask and respond to the questions in pairs. One student asks the question, another student responds. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Does anybody want to practice? Yes. Okay. Um, why don't you ask me a question? And then I answer to you. Okay. What are your favorite ladies, ladies of all time? What is my favorite what? Can you repeat again, ladies. please? Ladies of all time. Um, what number of question is that? Eleven. Eleven. What are your favorite ladies? Or ladies? I don't know. Uh, what is the pronunciation? Lyrics. Lyrics <laughs> of all time. Okay. Let me see. What are my favorite lyrics? I don't know. Um. Like uh, song lyrics, maybe uh, a song called um, uh, what's the name of this song? Let me see, let me see. I can't remember right now, but um, it's like a song from a band called Suhenaris. Have you ever heard of uh, Suhenaris? Not no. yet. Okay. Um, the, this, the name of the song is Cancion para mi muerte. Have you ever okay. heard that song? Okay, let me ask you a question. Um, what's your favorite beverage? Sorry, can you repeat? What's your favorite beverage? I don't know. What is the question? Uh, beverage, what do you like to drink? Okay. In my case, 
my case, if you want, I can start. Okay, in my case, something okay. that I can do is driving a car. Okay, in my case. In my case, it would be Dark Horse from Katy Perry because it makes me feel powerful <laughs> and I'm strong. Mm -hmm. My favorite lyric, lyrics or lyric is um, go on the soundtrack the Titanic. Titanic. Oh, that's a beautiful song. Yes. And the next 12 question, what is something you always want to try but you being too scared to do? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. Don't... <laughs> yeah. Something that I always wanted to try, but I I've been too scared to do. Mm, it would be swimming. But for example, this year. I tried to swim in uh, in a pool in a hotel and does anyone Want to to try? Anyone else? Me. And uh, number four. If okay. you could one subject in school, what would it be? If I could teach one subject in school, what I, what would it be? I think um I would like to teach um uh, uh, like science, science stuff, and and that. That sounds interesting. Okay. Uh, let me ask you a question. What makes you laugh, no matter what? Um, maybe cats. Some things that cats do are funny, and they do them for not reason. Cats. Yes, cats. Cats, fat cats. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's funny. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. One is going to ask the question and the other one will respond. Let me have Sergio and let me have Saul. Sergio and Saul. Sergio ask the question, Saul respond to the question and vice versa. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead. Okay, Saul. Um, let me see. What's your favorite beverage? Well, in my case, for me, is 
red color chata. I don't know how to say that in English. Oh, that's horchata. how you say it. Horchata. Yeah, because it's a it's a tropical drink. It's okay. like pupusa, it's pupusa tacos, it's tacos. It's the same, right? It's the same thing. Okay. Enchiladas, enchiladas. Okay. I like horchata too. All right. Go ahead, uh, Sergio. Ask another question to Saul. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, tell me what is one habit you wish you could break? Okay. <clears throat> I would like to get up more early in the morning because. Sometimes it's very difficult for me to get up early. Yeah, we all have that. And that also, um, yeah, nobody wants like to wake up early. <laughs> and another one could be that I would like to to do exercise every day, but that, it's difficult. That I, that, it's, that is hard. It's very <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That would be a good habit. That would be a good habit. All right, go ahead, Sergio. Another question. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, okay, what is your favorite dessert? Saul? Saul, can you hear me? Yeah. What is the question? What number? Repeat the question. Uh, let me repeat, let me repeat for you. Um, what is your favorite dessert? What is dessert? Uh, dessert is like postre. Postre. What? That's right. Postre. Okay. Okay. Like cake, ice cream, donuts, well, and chicharrones. My cake. Chicharrones. <laughs> In my case, could be ice cream because the cake I don't like. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Ice cream flavor. Ice cream flavor. Good job. Could be with chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Chocolate cake. Delicious. I love chocolate cake. Everybody loves chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to switch the roles. Now, Saul asks the question and Sergio responds to the question. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And the question number four. If you Hit could it. teach one subject in a school, what would it be? Um, if I could teach one subject in school, maybe it would be um, like science, science stuff. Like, you know... Um, uh, electrodynamics and electricity and all kinds of stuff that had has that has science on it. That's you know? great. I think that is very interesting uh, to have the opportunity to teach another person, right? Different things. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Have you ever teach some uh, in a school or or somewhere? Uh, not yet, but in the future, uh, I would like to teach maybe English or French because Man. right now, right now, I'm studying French and English. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Another question, right? Yeah. Uh, let me ask you another question. Uh, let me see. Well, okay. Ask me another question. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. It's my turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apologies. Uh, let me see. Well, the question number two. What is something you're tired of? Um, I'm tired of um like the traffic and the oh. city. I hate traffic. It's and horrible. Yeah. I I will I I like I to think that. I wish my car flies, you know, <laughs> so I don't have to, to stay in traffic like it's two a hours. Good, a good idea, right? Every day. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, another question could be okay. okay, the number nine. What made nine. you love Marewak? What um, yeah. What makes me laugh, um, like memes and be videos and and like mi primera chamba videos, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so maybe when you spend time with your family, right? Yeah, yeah. Also. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good okay. job, guys. Thank you, Saul. Okay. Thank you, Sergio. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for the are... opportunity. That's okay. We're going to change groups and repeat. Change groups and repeat with another partner. Ready? Let's go. I You can enter to the to the call and stop sharing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Because I can can go out. Do you, excuse me, do you screen, do you share the screen? I ask, what is what is an important life lesson for someone to learn? Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, bye bye. I'm taking the need the dinner right now. <laughs> Don't worry. Because I didn't time. I'm sorry. And Sandrita. Yes. What is the question? The number. Fifteen. Yes, fifteen. Ah, what is an important life lesson for someone to learn? Um, in my case, um, my important lesson for someone to learn is when my mother says about the the someone when I made uh, uh, anything very bad. For example, when I <laughs> I have a bad agree in my in my career, and my mother always says. Uh, you can, you never uh, give up, uh, don't worry, <laughs> you can try always and never, never uh, let to learning anything, maybe. <gasps> and I had a uh, question for you. <laughs> uh, okay. Would you ever live anywhere besides where you live now? Number All right, guys, it's already time to go. Please continue working on the platform, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.